Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rikachwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of that I out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations. But your father, C. Line, and your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. One of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. A hey, Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Never Camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And his lesson is going to be entitled, We Must Remember This. You know, because we see that uh, things are being set up for more draconian measures to be pushed forth, put, uh, pushed forth to put more hell upon the people. And yeah, people are going to be catching hell, but the main targets of this of these draconian measures are the uh, the main targets are the prophets. Not only the prophets, but those who believe in the words of the prophets. You see, so this is why you see more censorship all over the internet. <clears throat> because ultimately Esau is trying to stop or hinder this word from going out, you see. And now you got Donald Trump, who's back in the race, uh, running for president again. You, you had him uh, saying a couple years ago how people who were saying uh uh, spewing anti-sim rhetoric deserve the death penalty so forth and so on and now we're seeing uh over in the, uh in uh great britain how people are being arrested for saying certain things on the internet and once again it's all targeted at the prophets of yahweh bashim yahweh shah but we must remember this man we must remember that yahweh bashim yahweh shah is with us and we have nothing to fear we have nothing to worry about. We have we have nothing to be concerned of. At the end of the day, as Israelites, we've done exactly what our God has commanded us to do. You see, we've done exactly what the Almighty Yahweh has told us to th do through His Son Yahweh Shah. We have nothing to fear. We have nothing to be ashamed of. We have nothing to be embarrassed about. We've done. We've been obedient to the Most High's will. Pushing forth this word, believing upon the true doctrine, you see? And because of that, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to defend us. He's going to fight for us. And if we continue to endure until the end, we're going to have a, re a great reward given unto us, you see, from the Most High God, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shah, as it is written. We must remember this, man, because yeah, it's about to get crazy. Yeah, great persecution is coming. Yeah, Brothers, some brothers are going to be thrown into detention centers and FEMA camps, so forth and so on. But we must remember that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to fight for us as it is written. Now, this ain't going to be a long video. Pull a few precepts and that'll be it. So, my, one of my favorite ones to go to, you know, when I think about the times ahead, is uh, Isaiah 41 because it's very comforting, man, to let us know and to reassure us that our power and his son, they're in our corner, man. You see, so this is Isaiah 41 and 8, it says, But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee, yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And this is what the Most High has promised to do for us who believe. You have to remember this, man. You see, when all hell is breaking out around you, when the, when the troops are, are coming in, when they have you all on TV, lying and saying all manner of things against us falsely for the Lord's name's sake, remember. That Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah promised to do what? He promised to help us. He promised to strengthen us. He promised to uphold us and uplift us by way of his son Yahweh Shah, man. This is a promise made. This is what's going to happen for us if we continue to believe. We're going to be defended in these times we're coming into. 
We must remember this. Verse 11 says what? Behold, all they who, so I'm sorry. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. So that goes for everyone that's coming up against us. Everyone that's fighting against us. Even the, the rebellious of our people who are going to take the side of our enemy to fight against us. A lot of them knowing, uh, a lot of them knowing that they're Israelites, they're still going to try to fight against us. Guess what? They're going to be ashamed and confounded. Because the Most High is going to, is going to defend his true servants, his believers, man. You see? Our enemies are about to be trying underfoot. They're about to lose. They're going to perish. That's what's coming for our enemies, man. Verse 12 says what? Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of not. You hear that? This is what's coming for all of our enemies. Down a, a the, the elite of Esau Edom, their little puppets that they have up under them, moving and maneuvering and putting all these things into place to try to persecute us. A the, the rebels and false leaders of all people who are gonna come up against us as we already see them moving. You got guys like the uh the, the uh Haka and uh Hassad saying that oh, oh GMS they we basically we rapists and we trying to take little girls and all type of bullshit, which is not true. But that's what that's what our enemies are going to be doing, man. Slandering us, lying upon us, and, and and wait till Esau gets his fucking mainstream media machine going. Watch the fucking propaganda they're going to push against us, man. That's them warring against us. But what does the most I say about those who war against us? They're going to be as nothing and as a thing of not. This is what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to do. He's going to work on our behalf, man. And we must remember this. We must remember that, man. Because it, it, it's, it's going to get crazy. It's going to sound crazy. They're going to have that, uh, uh, what's that technology, man? They have, um, damn, the AI generated uh, faces and all that. To have you saying, to, to have your a spitting image of you and you saying something uh, off the fucking wall, man. <laughs> you see? Some shit they, they've cultivated with AI. That's the type of shit they're going to they, they become. Uh, deep fakes. Yup, there it is. The water. The water. Deep fakes. They're going to be coming with all type of deep fakes. Having a uh, brother's uh, image on the TV. And the brother's words don't match up with what we've been teaching. Just saying all manner of, of crazy shit. And that's for them to what? Be justified in coming up against us. Justified in demonizing us. Justified in persecuting us. This is, this is what it's going to come with. You see, and everyone outside of the remnant is going to side with these people. You see, and it's going to look like the odds are going to be stacked up against us. But at the end of the day, we must remember that the Most High told us what? Isaiah 41 and 12. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of not. We must remember this in the times we're coming into because shit is about to get hit. The Most High goes on to tell us what? Verse 13. For I, Yahweh, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. You see that? You got to understand this, man. While you got the likes of uh, one body talking about ain't no miracles coming, well, the Most High is telling us the complete opposite. What do you think the Most High means when he says uh, he's going to hold our right hand, saying unto, the, saying unto us, Fear not? I will help thee. How do you think the Most High is going to help us? By working miracles on our behalf. In the midst of all this craziness that's coming, man. <laughs> you see? The Most High is telling us right here. He's going to work miracles on behalf of those who believe, man. And that's what's going to be done. That's how we're going to overcome our enemy. There is no other way for us to overcome as the servants of the Lord. The only way we can overcome is continuing on in the faith that the Most High has blessed us with. Believing upon him. Believing upon Yahweh Shai. You see, and the words that were spoken unto us. And we'll be found righteous by doing that. 
And if you're found in that spirit, guess what the Most High is going to do? He's going to help us as he told us he would. These are promises, man. This is what's going to happen in the times, in the times ahead. And we're going to need it. You must remember this, man. Verse 14 says what? Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith Yahweh by Shemi Shah, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. There it is. The Most High is telling us not to fear. Yeah, we're about to go through a bunch of crazy situations, but he told us don't fear. Don't worry. Don't be in a state of distress. He got us, man. And I believe that. And you must believe it too. We don't have to worry about a damn thing these people are going to come with because at the end of the day, the only ones who have been doing what the Most High has commanded us to do as best as we possibly can are the true believers, man. Everybody else in the earth outside of the remnant is in a state of rebellion against the Most High. You think the Most High is going to justify them and what they're coming with? You think the Most High is going to defend these wicked ass people who are out here pushing all manner of perverseness, uplifting and exalting all manner of wickedness? You think the Most High is going to be for these people, man? No. The Most High is not an unrighteous power, man. He's going to destroy our enemies. He's going to destroy those who have been dealing falsely, man. You see? Who have been causing mischief in the earth. And those who have been standing for righteousness, doing the will of the Most High, being in that spirit of obedience. You see, having faith and believing, Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah is going to help us, man. You see? Remember this. It's very important. You see that? And and, and this is why it's so important to, to be preaching the right doctrine, man, because even Yahweh Shah told us. Let me see. Yup. Because this this is what's coming. The only reason they're coming up against us is because what we believe who we believe in and what we believe in. Who do we believe in? We believe in the one true living power. The Ancient of Days, the Creator of the Heavens and the Earth, the Almighty Yahweh. You see, through His Son, Yahweh Shahu, the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the true Messiah of the Bible. That's who we believe. What do we believe? We believe in the Most High's will coming to pass. Everything that the Most High's told us written in these scriptures, we believe is going to happen. And what does that entail? Us being saved from the land of our captivities, America being destroyed, Esau's power structure being taken down, and the kingdom of heaven being established, so Yahweh Shah can do what? You see? Reestablish the throne of David in the earth. As the Most High told us he's going to do. That's what we believe in. And it will be done. We don't believe in walking in the course of this world, man. We don't believe that a, a man could be a woman and a woman can be a man and a man can be what We don't believe in that madness. We believe in the righteous way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We believe in the law, statutes, and commandments that it, that it is going to cause life to flourish and it will. We know that the most high's way is the correct way, the right way. And because we're moving in a spirit that's completely opposed to the spirit of this world, we're going to be persecuted for that. But we have nothing to be ashamed of. We have nothing to fear. We've done nothing wrong. All we've done is what the Most High has told us to do. You see, and we're gonna be, and we're gonna be persecuted for it. But what does the Lord tell us right here? Matthew five and ten. It says, "Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven." There it is. This is the only reason they're coming up against it. This is the only reason they're gonna want to try to throw us into prisons. This is the only reason they're gonna want, want, want to behead us. It's all because of what? We're walking in the righteous spirit. You see a spirit that's completely opposed to this wicked ass word that we currently dwell in. And because of that, they're going to persecute us, man. Let's get other word for persecuted. Strong's G, 1377. Dioko. Dioko. Dioko, right? It says what? To mate, to run, to or flee put to flight drive away and that's what's coming uh what else we got to pursue in a hostile manner yep and uh in any way what whatever to harass trouble molest one to persecute to be mistreated suffer persecution on account of something you see that that's what's coming we're about to suffer persecution because once again who who we believe in and what we believe you see 
without the idea of hostility to run after, follow one, so on, okay, pursue, to seek after, eagerly, earnestly, endeavor to acquire, but we're going to be persecuted, this is what it is right here, to be mistreated, suffer persecution on account of something, and that's what's coming, you see, in a major, major way, but the most I has told us, what, don't fear, Yahweh shall say, because of that, we're blessed, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, there it is, we got to keep this in mind, man, because it's going down. You got the likes of Vocab Malone, who's been on this fucking world tour to try to debunk the Israelites. And when it comes down to it, he's going to be he's going to be there to try to spew all manner of falsities against us for us to be persecuted even further. These false leaders of these different Israelite groups, they're going to come up against us and persecute us even further. These unbelieving as Israelites who, who don't understand the doctrine of the Most High, they're going to persecute us. You see? But at the end of the day, don't let that bother you, man, because what? Matthew 5 and 10, one more time. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You see that? So that's that's a great reward, man. Verse 11 says, Blessed are ye when men, revile, when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. And that's what's already happening. Who's the most demonized camp in, in all the world, man? Great Millstone. Why? Because we are the servants of the Lord. All these camps are saying all manner of things against Great Millstone falsely. It's because what? We serve Yahweh Shah, and they don't. And guess what? The lies are going to continue to ramp up. They're going to get more and more outlandish. But it's okay. We found out we find ourselves in great company when when these these uh, unbelievers begin to do that, man. Verse twelve says, "What rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven." So you have to remember this, man. You see, you have to remember that. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. We find ourselves in good company because it tells us what. So for so persecuted they the prophets. Which were before you, you see that? So we we not we're not finding ourselves in strange territory. This is how it's always been. The righteous have always been persecuted by the wicked. But you have to know and understand. You have to remember that what the Most High is going to fight for us. The Most High is going to deliver us, man. Lord, wouldn't we be a part of that number? That's what you have to keep in mind. We're not out here by ourselves, man. The Most High is not going to forsake us. He's not going to leave us. But we have to keep keep in mind that what? Yes, we're coming into a, t a, a very, very hard times. But, hey, so did our righteous forefathers before us, man. And if we continue to be faithful and true, you see, and continue to move in that spirit of obedience toward Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, you see, according to what he told us to do, hey, we're going we gonna to be rewarded. You see? So don't let these people make you feel ashamed or embarrassed by what we believe in or who we believe in and the doctrine that the most high has given us the most high's will his you know what i'm saying the true counsel don't let nobody make you feel embarrassed about that man because we've done nothing wrong we 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 are the only ones in the spirit to be obedient to the almighty and his son man and there's nothing wrong with that we're not wrong the world is wrong man you see we are not wrong the world is wrong so don't let them shake you. Don't let, don't let them move you. Continue to be what? Unmovable, unshakable, unwavering and steadfast in this faith that we have been blessed with, knowing and understanding that the Most High is going to fight on our behalf, man. Remember it. Because that's what's written according to what the Most High has spoken. So with that, man, I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rekakwadash, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Baba.